Hello, my name is Joel Christ. I'm a developer with Acona Systems, and today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the process of creating user profiles in the User Profile Store in SharePoint Server 2007. So I'm in Microsoft Visual Studio 2005, and I'm going to choose to create a new project. I'm going to do it in C Sharp. I'm going to create a Windows console application. I'm going to name that console application Create User Profile. Say OK. Okay, now the code that I'm going to use and write today to create the user profile is going to use the SharePoint Services User Profile Web Service. So I need to add a web reference to that web service. So the way I'm going to do this is to come in here and right click on the project name and choose to add web reference. And I can come in here and I can select the URL to the web service running on my server because Visual Studio remembers that I referenced this URL previously and during my testing. And so Visual Studio then goes out and grabs the service description for the web service and displays it here. So I'm going to give the name of the web reference, web reference user profile service and say add reference. And Visual Studio goes ahead and adds the web reference and generates a proxy class for me so I can interact with the web service. Now the code's also going to make use of some types and classes in the Office server namespace. And so I need to add a, re a reference to um, the Office server assembly. So if I come in here and right click on references and say add reference, I can come over here to the Browse tab and browse for the Office server assembly. I need to do that because I'm not running Visual Studio on a machine that has SharePoint services installed on it. So what I've done is I've pulled down a local copy of the necessary assembly here on my development machine. And now I can come in here and navigate to that folder, select it, say OK, and now I get the reference added to it. So the next thing I'm going to do is replace the Visual Studio generated code with my own. And we take a look at what the code does. I have a using statement that pulls in the Office Server user profiles namespace. And then I declare some variables to hold values um, to create the user profile and set properties on the user profile. And then we come in here and I have a uh, little helper here called check args that checks the command line arguments. And we take a look at what that does. It just simply goes through, checks the number of command line arguments, parses the command line switches, um, looking for the required command line arguments displays error messages if there's a problem, and also he has a show usage helper function here that displays the command line usage for the tool. Now if the command line looks okay and we get all of our arguments, we then come down here and create an instance of the uh, user profile web service, set its URL on the proxy class here, and then go ahead, set the credentials we're going to use to access the web service to the default network credentials. We could have also created our own network credential objects, specifying find user name, password, and domain. Um, and then we declare an array of property data objects and call get user profile by name to first see if there's already a profile for this account name. Um, if there isn't already a profile, it'll throw, this method here will throw an exception, which we just handle, and then we fall through, and then we check to see if our property data is still equal to null, which is what we initialized it to here. If it's not equal to null, it means we got back something up here on this call here, which means that there's already a profile for this account name. So we go ahead and throw an exception specifying the user profile already exists. If, however, property data is null still, it means we didn't find a profile for the account yet, so we go ahead and create one by calling create user profile by account name. And then we set some properties on that new profile we just created. We allocate ourselves a new property data array, and then we specify elements within that array to tell um, this, the web service what properties we want to set. We specify the preferred name, the department name, and the cell phone properties. And we go ahead and use our values that were passed to us um, via the command line to set those values. And then we call modify user property by account name to actually set the properties on the profile and update the user profile. And then we have our catch block here. Again, if there's any problems, uh, we catch uh, the exception, set a flag, and then come down here after writing out the, um, the message, or rather the value of the exception. We then display, uh, dependent upon the value, the success flag that the profile was either successfully created or it was not, and then press any key to continue. So if we go ahead and build, and it looks like the build succeeded just fine. Okay, so now I'm ready to run my application here to see if it actually works. So if I go over to the central admin site for my SharePoint site, 
I can take a look at the current user profiles. See that I have eight of them. And if I choose to view them, you can see who I have profiles for. Now, if I come over to a command prompt here, I've got a command line already entered in here to run my create user profile tool, specifying the web service URL, um, the account name to use, which is test user three on the dev domain, a preferred name of Mr. Test user three, Department of Research, and a cell phone number here. So if I hit the enter key and let her run. Okay, I come back, gets back the message that the user profile was successfully created. Press any key to continue. And now if I switch back over here and I do a refresh, I now see that I have my test user three with the preferred name of Mr. Test User Three. If I come in here and choose to edit the properties, you can verify that everything got set okay. It's test user three, Mr. Test User Three, Department is Research, and my cell phone number, mobile number is the phony number there. So it looks like it's working just fine. So by using Microsoft Visual Studio, it was very easy for us to create a console application, in this case here, that made use of the SharePoint Services user profile web service to allow us to programmatically create a user profile.